So it turns out that the Berry Arcade Club, where I've been to a few times, it is famous now. Famous for being in Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. The arcade cabinets seen in the firehouse are Missile Command and Star Castle, and they were found, or sourced, by the filmmakers from Berry Arcade Club. So here's a picture of the ones that they found. And I'm going to take you through some of the things that I saw when I was there. So I did see the Star Castle cabinet. There's a picture from the film. Um, but also I saw some really cool pinball machines like this Iron Maiden one that I had a look at and played on. Um, the Batman pinball machine that I had a look at, which was really, really cool. Um, some of them have uh, screens on them as well and different things like that. It's a close-up of the Master of Puppets Metallica one that I played. And here's my friend playing on a, shoot, a shooting game, which I'm not quite sure of. There's a dancing game that we had a look at. Um, obviously, I think I was the one that where it says failed. There was classic games, you know, you've got your Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, all the different Pac-Man games. Um, and I couldn't resist making everybody go on the WrestleFest games, taking me back to my arcade times when I was a kid. There's one from WrestleFest as well, Million Dollar Man coming into the into the arena. I just love playing those WrestleFest games. They were so cool. Like the big chunky characters that you had back then. And there's one of the Legion of Doom and Earthquake and all those guys. Um, you could play as a Royal Rumble. It's so much fun. There was a, I, I had to play on Golden Axe as well. One of my favourites from when I was a kid. The choice is unbelievable. It is the largest in Europe. There's so many to play, so sitting inside the arcade um, cabinets and playing Star Wars games just took me back to the, those green <laughs> green and black ones that we used to play. Um, some of the more modern games, I hadn't played this WrestleMania one before. I say modern, it's probably the 90s. Um, we were playing all different kinds of uh, Star Wars games. I was just making people play on Star Wars and wrestling games, but there were so many to choose from. Um, as we went along... We just got so overwhelmed with things that we kind of went to ones we knew. But I had to play the Turtles games. I, I remember never finishing, never completing the arcade game of Turtles. So um, the four of us went on. And because it's on free vend and you can just keep playing and playing and playing until you win, I actually got to see the end of it, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, there was lots of driving games, tons of driving games. I was really interested in playing pole position, um, as that was just one of the ones I remember. Finished. Finished April. <laughs> <laughs> About 20 years in the making. Maybe 30. 30 years in the making. And we did it. Turtle power. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, this is us um, playing on and seeing the epilogue, the end of the um, Turtles game, which I really enjoyed. Um, just getting to see the end felt like an achievement. It took us so long. We were there maybe well over an hour and a half to get that finished. We were all proud, um, proud of getting it finished. We got to read the script at the end and what happened to the Technodrome and all those different things. It was just, it was just really, really cool to see that. And then you got like the little celebration at the end. So here are some shots of inside. Um, there's, there's um, as well as arcade machines there are also console machines as well and the massive dancing ones um, from all over the world that's in Bury and greater manchester if you check them out the details are there but yeah they were on frozen kingdom that's amazing 